Hey everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Bucker Designs. I've got a wobble card for you today. It features our cute little monkey. It's actually the name of the stamp set, Little Monkey. And I knew immediately when I saw these guys I wanted to make a wobble card. Um, we're gonna just use some wire. You don't need to buy any fancy uh, wobbles. I can show you how to make your own. All right, let's start with our fancy background, okay? I'm using two other stamp sets for this card as well. I'm using Tropical Leaf, I'm using this right here, and I am using Warm Welcome. I'm using the Hello with the Little Monkey. All right, let's do our background first. You're gonna need a piece of watercolor paper and we're gonna create kind of a collage and we're gonna texture it with our fern um, embossing folder. Uh, we're gonna use, let me grab my inks, we're gonna use Granny Apple Green and Garden Green. We're gonna add Lemon Lime Twist in a minute. Um, so first I'm just gonna take, and this is kind of just really a collage, I'm gonna take the two leaf stamps and I'm just gonna start stamping the leaves all over. Now you only need a piece that is three and three fourths by five, so you won't need this entire piece. Um, but I kind of like to give myself some wiggle room. So if I like one part of it and not the other, I can cut that part off. So use as much as you want. All right, now I'm gonna take the other leaf and I'm just gonna do the same thing with Granny Apple Green ink, stamping these leaves. You want them turned different ways as you go. And they're gonna all blend together here in a minute. We're gonna use a mister to get our colors to run together. Okay, I think that, well, let's let's add some, whoa. Let's add some down here too. There we go. All right, now to get your colors to run together, you're gonna need a spritzer with water. And this is kind of an experiment. You can mist it as little or as much as you'd like. I like to start with a little and let it sit and see what it does. See right here, it's starting to blend a little too much. Maybe I put too much there, but I like how it's doing this over here. So I'm gonna set it aside and let it dry. Each time you do this, it's gonna look different. Here's one that I've done ahead of time for us. Now it's completely dry. I'm gonna take my Lemon Lime Twist ink, this is one of our new colors, and a blending brush, and I'm just gonna add even more green to this picture so that this is just kind of a blurry background, jungly background. is very artsy there's no right or wrong way to do this and I think you'll have fun with it okay now let's add some flicks of color I've got my dark lemon lime twist marker and I'm gonna flick some of that on there I've also got my um, pecan pie we'll flick some of that on there and how about wild wheat? We'll add some wild wheat to this just to give it, a, you know, kind of a wild, jungly look. Okay, let's see. Maybe we should add a little granny apple green, dark. You want to use the brush tip of your marker and just flick that ink on there. All right, that looks pretty good to me. So now I'm going to take my trimmer. And I'm going to cut it down to, um, it's five inches on this side, so we'll just do three and three-fourths inch right here. Five by three and three-fourths. All right, the last thing we're going to do to this piece is emboss it. We've done lots of things to this piece, but we're going to take it one step further, put it in our fern embossing folder, and run it through. All right, here we go. Isn't that neat looking? Love it. 
Okay, how about we make our monkey? Actually, let's do our leaves and we'll save our monkey for the end. We're gonna stamp the leaves. Let's see, we need to bring back our grid paper. We're gonna stamp the leaves. Um, you can do this a lot of different ways. And I actually, for mine, I did do a lot of different ways. First, I'm gonna stamp it in garden green. And then I'm gonna stamp off, I'm gonna get a dauber and some granny apple green ink and just kind of add it all in there like that. All right, we'll stamp that like that. Then we'll do one that's full strength, granny apple green. How about we do one um, that is full strength um, garden green? All right, see how we just want them all to look a little bit different? Let's do granny apple green full strength with some garden green. You need four leaves total. There we go. Okay, now I'm gonna take the line image from that tropical leaf stamp. I'm gonna add the line to each one of these in garden green like that now we're going to do something else to this but i need to stamp our monkey and cut him out first we're going to do some more flicking on here and i don't want the flicking on our monkey so let's go ahead and do that and then we'll come back to the leaves all right stamp your monkey in memento black and we're going to color him with pecan pie and one of our neutral um our natural tones stamp and blends this is number 800 um, one of the lighter ivory colors i'm going to start here with a face and we'll color all the way around make sure you don't color in his eyes okay now we're gonna get our light pecan pie and we're gonna color in everything else. I actually forgot to do his ears. We wanna do his ears the same color as his face. On my blog today, if you click the link here on YouTube, it'll take you back to my blog post where I did three little monkey projects for Facebook Friday. There's a free PDF there for you that has the supply list and the measurements for all three of them, you'll get two other ideas for our little monkey. Whoops, I got a little crazy there. Trying to rush. Don't rush, trust me, it's never good. All right, use your stamp and blend, and I recommend using that bullet end there to get in those, hopefully stay in the line better than I did. We'll color all this in like that. Now you can take your dark pecan pie and we can add a little bit here. And I kind of like to add a little bit down the side as well and maybe around his face over here on this side. And then you can go back with your light and flick that color out gives you a little bit of shadowing. All right, let's add in a little bit of color here to his ears. And then last but not least, I love to add some cute little cheeks with our dark petal pink. Now this guy, this stamp does have a coordinating punch, but it's not for this image. So this one, you're gonna need to get your paper snips and cut him out and i'm going to just go real slowly and stay on the outside of that black line all right cutting off extra paper as you go you want to keep the image as you're going in the middle of your scissors pretty much use your opposite hand to turn your paper Okay, I'm gonna come back and go inside the tail in just a second. If you stay on the outside of that line, it's going to visually 
make your eye only see that black line so you won't see any jagged cuts that we all make when we are fussy cutting. All right, twist around and around. And last but not least, his cute little ear. And let's go around that tail as best we can. And there we go, not too bad. All right, let's set him aside and now let's come back to those leaves. I am again going to use our wild wheat to flick color onto them, make them a little less nice and neat, like that. Now, three of them we're going to cut out with, let's see, which one do I want to save? Doesn't really matter. Um, we're going to use one for our wobble. We're just going to punch circles out of it so that it matches the background. Okay, so punch out three of your leaves. And then from the fourth one, get the smallest circle punch you have, probably half an inch, and cut out two circles from your leaf, your last leaf. Now let's create that wobble. And we're gonna get, you're gonna need to get some floral wire and it's gonna have to be pretty thin. This is 26 gauge floral wire. And we're gonna take it and wrap it around a pencil or a marker, uh, maybe two times, that marker's pretty fat. Let's, let's make it a little bit thinner because it needs to be smaller than our circles. All right, so snip that off. And then we're gonna take our liquid glue. And I'm gonna put liquid glue right here, like that. And we're gonna set our wobble, our little wire down into that liquid glue. And I kinda like to spin it around to get the glue all over the bottom of it. All right, like that. And then we'll do the other one this time. This top one doesn't necessarily have to match because it's gonna be on the back of the monkey. But we'll do it anyway, just in case we wanna flip it around. Actually, we should have glued it the other way, but <laughs> we'll use the other side. All right, so I'm gonna let that dry for a little while. Move that over and give it some time to dry. Let's bring back our embossed piece and I'm going to kind of smooth things around our focal point by adding some vellum. This is going to give you, make things just a little less busy if you will. And here's my adhesive. We'll add some adhesive right there in the middle. And then let's grab our leaves. And we're going to put these on with dimensionals. Let's start with our darker one back here. And we'll put this one right here like that. We want them overlapping, so let's make sure they touch. And this one can go about right there. Now for our sentiment, I have cut out a rectangle from our Timeless Arrangement dies. And I'm gonna stamp these two different sentiments. Remember, one is from Hello Monkey, and the other one is from Warm Welcome. I'm gonna stamp the little monkey in uh, Garden Green right here. And then I'm gonna stamp the Hello. And does that look crooked? I think I did it crooked. Yeah, let's try that again. We'll do it on the back side. I gotta pull it down so I can look straight on. There we go, that's better. And then we'll do the hello right above it in pecan pie. There we go, hello little monkey. Okay, now I'm gonna get the wobble and it's probably not totally dry so I'm gonna have to be careful. I'm gonna put it right here in the middle like that. And so you can see how it's kind of camouflaged that circle piece. 
And then we're gonna attach our monkey right there to the top of our wobble. Now you could attach the wires straight to the leaves and to the monkey, but I like to have a little more control with those circles so that I have a surface and I can put it exactly where I want it. All right, now let's put our hello little monkey. And it looks like I kind of went a little bit higher this time on ours. So I think I'm gonna put this down here this time. I think it'll go a little bit better down here. We'll compare when I'm done. See which one we like better. Okay, now we'll get some linen thread. Fold that in half. And get us a glue dot. And put that right down there, like that. All right, let's bring over our card base. And I am just gonna adhere this flat because it already has so much dimension. I don't wanna add any more dimensionals to it. We're going to lay that right on top of our Granny Apple Green card base. All right, and there's your little wobble monkey. He's still a little bit wet, so I don't want to flick him too much. But here he is on this card. <laughs> so cute. All right, sign on the top or sign on the bottom. I think I still like it on the top better. So make sure you move your leaves down a little bit more than I did. All right, make sure you hop over to my blog, grab that free PDF, and let me know if you have any questions. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.